Hey guys, this is Michael, aka Epsilon Minus. I just uh, sent a challenge for Cronin for a match, and looks like he's ready to start. He is playing Flashing Rectum, which is a kind of four color blue based combo deck, and we won the roll, which is good for us. Um. Hmm. This isn't the greatest hand, but it does have a Force of Will in it. It has a turn one play. I think I'm going to keep it. So we're going to open up with a Trop, and we'll play Deathrite Shaman. And I know he's not playing Missteps in his list, so... We don't have to worry about that. He's just playing three force of wills. So we definitely have the counter advantage. Fortunately, we don't have any missteps of our own, which would be really nice because uh, we could counter his mystical tutor if necessary. So we're going to play the ooze here. And then I'm just going to crash in for one. Not too exciting, I have to admit, but that's what it's like when you play a bunch of one and two power creatures, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Let's draw a blue card. Ugh. Alright. Well, that's actually not too terrible. I'd like to play Edric. Well, I should play Edric, because I'll probably... Uh, so, let's do that. Of course, he might have a Force of Will, but... If he does, then so be it. Alright, cool. So hopefully we'll get to draw some cards here. Hopefully one of them will be blue. And one of them was blue. Oh, sweet. So we have two counter spells in our hand now, which is pretty nice. Storm. See what we get. Some pretty good stuff. I don't think we need the noble hierarch right now, so I'm gonna ship that. Pop the misty. Grab an underground sea, and then we're gonna do some more swinging. And some more drawing. Got a trigon, which is pretty nice. Alright. So, I don't really need this dryad armor, so I'm just gonna chuck it. So it looks like he's thinking about what he's going to do. I imagine this is going to be the 
key turn in the game. I'm not too scared though. I've got like a pretty heavy grip full of counter magic. Alright, Lotus Petal's fine. Grip's fine. Young Moss Bargain. That, however, is not fine. Sell my dried arbor to pump my guy a little bit more. And go to town. I guess I can green sun. Actually, I can. I don't have the mana for it. That's uh, alright. Chuck this hierarch in the graveyard. So he's doing a mana flip. Alright, so he won the flip. So he's got one more turn to do something. Alright, he's brainstorming, that's fine. Pedal. Another brainstorm. can't think of any. Does he have anything that would be uncountable? I don't think he does. So I'm going to let him do this. It's also getting into kind of the days realm. He's really only got... He's got one mana floating and two, uh, two lotus petals left. So, I'm just gonna force a will this and be safe. Alright, so we managed to take that one down. Oh, pfft. that up, so let's just resend them the challenge. 
All right, well, <laughs> maybe we're starting over. So, do this. All right, so he just conceded that first game. All right, so, on to sideboarding. I'm basically kind of sideboarding this like an oath matchup because I'm pretty sure he's probably going to bring that in. So I'm going to take my Zeniths out and bring in cages. Uh, and I'll be bringing in Trigon and Selkie. And I'll be taking out Ooze and Edric. They're good in that game, but I have a feeling uh, the Selkie and the Trigon will be better. I'm gonna pause real quick and come back when we start. Oh, we're starting right now. Alright, this looks pretty good. It doesn't have a lot of action, but I have a brainstorm, so that's good. And uh, we're gonna keep this. I think I start with the forest tire, even though it takes me off days. I have force of will. I have two force of wills in my hand, so I'm not terribly worried. Okay, brainstorm, that's fine. So in terms of stuff that I'm scared of, I'd be scared of Flash right now. He's off channel though because he doesn't have a green land out. And he's still probably turn away from show and telling unless he has a pedal in his hand. Alright, soaring. That's fine, I think. I don't like it, but <laughs> yeah. I do not look. Alright. So, I'm going to brainstorm on his end step if he doesn't do anything that I need to force a while. this tundra, that's what I don't want. And I'll just draw the fetch. I'm a little bit vulnerable right now because of the, uh, I think I'm gonna fetch an underground sea. Bit vulnerable right now because I don't have a blue card in my hand, unfortunately, but That's the risk you take when you brainstorm, I guess. We've definitely uh, helped our clock, though. Plus, I have Pride Mage active if he 
So I guess the main thing I'm scared of right now is him show and telling an Emrakul. All right, just gonna brainstorm. Terminus. That is not good. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it because I don't have a blue card in my hand. Luckily, I only have a couple bears on the field, so completely blown out by it. That being said, it's pretty much wide open for whatever he wants to do next. Jace. Ugh. Alright. That might be the end. Not quite as flashy as uh, <clears throat> the bar, but I think the card advantage is probably going to grind me out. So maybe using that brainstorm was a mistake. I don't know. Oh, well, that's a good draw. Unfortunately, he has plenty of ways around it, so I'm going to need a few more good draws if I'm going to get back into this. Yeah, I think this is probably the turn where he's gonna beat me. He's probably gonna show and tell an Emrakul out or an Omniscience or I think maybe I've not used my Pride Mage there on his Soul Ring might have been a mistake. Alright, he's missed a coin. This is kind of signaling show and tell, yeah. So I'm guessing he's probably show and telling Emrakul into play, or show and telling Bargain into play, or something like that. Yep, I've got nothing even to show and tell to play. Alright, so... Emrakul. Unless I draw Caracas, I'm pretty much done for. And I did not draw Caracas, so... Give him the GG and move on to game three. I feel like maybe I didn't play as optimally as I could. Maybe I shouldn't have used that brainstorm. I do, however, generally like the uh, sideboard plan, so we're going to stick with it. Definitely be going first. And we draw a total brick. So we're gonna mulligan this. That's a bit better. It's not great, but it's better. <laughs> No. <clears throat> 
And he kept a seven, which is probably not a good sign. That being said, make the best out of it. I think I do, and if he tries to play key, I force it. Alright. So... backbone of his deck, but I can't risk it. If he plays key, then he just wins. So, I'm going to aim Voltaic key. I guess it's a good thing I did name the gear, else he would have just won next turn. Of course, he could win the next turn anyway. Especially, he might just tinker. That would get him around it. Yep. Maybe that's the card I should have chosen. Or maybe I should have held my mage in my hand until I had a blue card. Well, it's a little too bad, but it's such as the Cronin. Uh, and uh. So I'm kind of disappointed to lose on turn two on that final game after winning that first one.